Hi, welcome to episode 35 of Christian Meditative Yoga. I'm Julia. And I'm Boo. And this, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. me. The title of this episode 35 is Arise and Shine. And I'm going to be going through the motions that I consider as rising and shining in my particular life. Uh, with yoga, and Boo is going to read some scriptures that pertain to that as I sh uh, come from face down, and I'm going to come from face down up to uh, the table position, the plank position, uh, table position, plank position, downward dog, and up to mountain where I'm standing, and then down into a meditative pose while she's reading. So, if you can take it from the top here, Boo, you can go right away. Absolutely. <laughs> Isaiah 61 Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Isaiah 62 For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the pe Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Ephesians 5.14 For anything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine upon you. Psalm 119, 105 through 107. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have promised it once, and I'll promise it again. I will obey your righteous regulations. I have suffered much, O Lord. Restore my life as, again as you promised. And the lamp is the device, for example, a candle. While the result of the light working is to provide light on the path so you can see. And here's a few lines from a poem I wrote. My candle does dance in the silent storm, yet I fear not the darkness of death, only the ebony of existence. And um, it's about a hiking trip I took with a candle to light, light my path. Proverbs 623. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. 2 Peter 1.19 And so we have the prophetic word confirmed, which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Psalm 1.2 Blessed is the one whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. Psalm 143, 5. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I have been getting into a meditative posture from going face down and coming up. And in this meditative posture, I feel very comfortable. Uh, the breathing that I was going to show you is called Kapalbati. It's the name of it, the foreign name of it. Uh, we call it fire breathing, or breath of fire in the USA, in the Western world. Uh, the reason I'm introducing this is, you, is I have tried this over the past couple of days, and uh, what you do is you take your right hand and you place it on your solar plexus. We're going to be inhaling and exhaling through the nose only, and when we exhale through the nose, we're going to push in on our solar plexus as uh, the breath is leaving, which makes it a little forceful. We're going to be forcefully inhaling to the count of five where you can actually hear yourself inhaling. And then when we exhale, we're going to be forcefully exhaling, pushing the solar plexus in through the nose, and, and you can hear it. So it's, I'm going to count to five in and five out. Now, when you do that forcefully breathing in, it's going to take huge amounts of oxygen into your body, which is going to really fire you up and make you feel awake and even make your eyes wake up. Uh, when you breathe out forcefully like that and you're pushing, you're getting toxins and poisons that are kind of just sitting around in you. You're getting those moved out of your body. It's getting everything revved up into a fire. Uh, the reason that I was led to put this in here is over the past couple of days when I was studying uh, this 
particular breathing, um, then I used it this morning really early when I was doing my yoga meditation like this. And I had an image, uh, not of laundry on the line like I do, or Michael Phelps riding and getting the, uh, you know, swimming and getting all the gold medals like I had before. I had an image of fire, like a spiritual fire. Uh, so then when I looked back over the notes today and looked back over it, I realized this is called Breath of Fire in the Western World. So I'm like, wow, I'm going to use this some because it really uh, impressed me that there's something to it. Now, I would not suggest that you do this for extended periods of time unless it feels comfortable to you. I would suggest you start out with 30 seconds of it, actually, <laughs> something like that and maybe build up uh, whatever is comfortable to your body. But it really does uh, fire you up. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us today. Always remember, this, this is, is the day, day the Lord has made. made. I will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day today and every day. And very best to you.